everybody. Welcome to VegaTrends. My name is Mackenzie. And as always, I'm trying to make it easier for you to eat your vegetables. And this week we've been talking about a gateway vegetable, a gateway to eating your other vegetables, and that is corn. Today I'm going to be making up a stuffed bell pepper with corn, black beans, and barley. I hope you'll stay tuned. So this week we've been talking about corn and today I wanted to make up a stuffed bell pepper. I've never done this recipe before and it was with corn and black beans and because I had some barley left over from last week's video I thought what grain could I use in this recipe and so I'm going to go ahead and use barley. So let's first talk about the ingredients we'll be using in this recipe. I'm going to do a cup and a half of uh, sweet corn. I'm going to do one can of black beans. I have uh, maybe five green onions here. I have a lime, two teaspoons of chili powder that didn't call for it, but I'm going to try some green chilies. Uh, these are mild green chilies in this recipe. And then I have my barley here. This is about a cup and a half of cooked barley. And of course, my cut bell peppers. Now generally, I cut my bell peppers in half this way. Uh, all you do is cut them in half, pull the top off, pull the seeds out, and you have a perfect vessel for your stuffed bell peppers. But it can be fun if you're going to uh, a party where you're bringing a dish or for your kids, a great way to do bell peppers is to uh, cut them this way. So I just cut the top off kind of like you would a pumpkin. Uh, if you were carving a pumpkin and then I take the seeds out, I cut the seeds off the top and now you have a little vessel to put your ingredients in and this can be fun if you're going to a party, you cook it right with the top on and people can eat it uh, kind of like they're eating out of a bowl or your kids can eat it that way. Um, so it's kind of a fun way to do bell peppers. All right, so let's get these ingredients all mixed up and into the peppers. Okay, so I have a good size mixing bowl here. I'm going to start by putting in the cup and a half of barley, the cup and a half of corn, black beans, one can, the chili peppers, Ooh, yummy. the green onions, two teaspoons of chili powder, Then I'm going to squeeze the lime in. Okay, so then I've squeezed in the lime. Now I have all the ingredients in this bowl, except for, of course, the peppers that need to be stuffed. I'm going to mix this up. And I think I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees. These will need to cook probably for about a half hour at 350 degrees. So we're going to mix up these ingredients. Oh, that chili powder sounds or smells really good. Oh, we're losing ingredients here. Now, well, it's always a good chance to try out the ingredients when we're making these. Oh, that's good. This is going to be a fun recipe. All right, so this is all mixed up, so you can take a look. We've got a good mix of corn and black beans and those onions. It looks really good with the barley. So now I just have a pan to put in the oven, and we're going to spread these out on here. And then we're just going to spoon the ingredients into each one of these. I think I need to do it over the bowl. It's pretty messy. Okay, so I have my peppers all stuffed here, 
I have a little bit of mix left over and I'm very excited. Let me show you why. So my husband loves spice and spicy and I used half of this pepper earlier for the Mexican street corn and I have it left over and I like nothing to go to waste. I like to use everything. So I am going to stuff this guy and have it specially for my husband. Give him a special spicy treat. It's not a super spicy pepper, but compared to a bell pepper, it definitely has a little bit of a kick to it. All right, so we're just gonna put that on here. So now these are all stuffed, and I just look at this guy. Look at how much fun this is. If you have kids and it's around maybe Halloween, you could use the orange bell peppers. But look at it's just like a little pumpkin. Um, or it would be a great idea to take as something to a party if you needed to bring a dish. It would just be a lot of fun. So keep that in mind. I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 30 minutes, and when they come out, we'll give them a try. So I had my bell peppers in the oven for about 25 minutes, a little less than I originally said because they were looking pretty done. And of course, if you want yours a little firmer, I would leave them in the oven for maybe only 20 minutes. If you like them softer, you could leave them in a little bit longer. So we're gonna go ahead and give one of these a try. They look amazing. Now because at my house, I cook up quite a bit of servings at a time so we can eat uh, leftovers for about three days. I always like to do something to dress up the meal. So maybe with these you could add some salsa. I know my dad will appreciate that. Uh, my husband loves avocado. So today for while I'm trying these, I cut up a little bit of avocado. You can see here on the plate. And we're gonna grab one of these yellow peppers. And the way I like to eat mine is I just cut it down the center this way and then I will cut it down the center this way because you want to get down to about bite size pieces so if you cut it about that you get about eight bite size pieces and then we're going to grab a little bit of avocado you could also put guacamole on these Mm. Wow. That is really good. I'm just going to take one more bite, make sure I liked it. Mm. I actually like these a lot better than a lot of stuffed peppers I do with like canned tomatoes and rice. This has a very clean, nutty flavor uh, and somewhat sweet. I really like it. This is going to be a great addition to my recipe repertoire. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me make these stuffed bell peppers today with corn, black beans, and barley. Again, my name is Mackenzie and this is Vegetrends. We still have one more episode coming up with corn and that is going to be my creamy corn chowder. I hope you'll check back later this week for that recipe because that soup is phenomenal and I really want you to give it a try. Mm -hmm.